Hi, it's Debbie Teal here with Teal Soaps. Today I'm just showing you my little soaping area. Good set of scales that plug in. Makeshift sink. PowerPoint. Somewhere to work. So in a moment I'll start making a new soap that I haven't made before. Okay, now this soap that I'm going to make is made with the great big old... Um, 150 year old Morton Bay tree figs um, down at the Bustledon Jetty there's some huge big old Morton Bay fig trees that were planted by one of the first settlers so what I have here let me just show you pureed Morton Bay figs in apple cider vinegar and it makes this most gorgeous colour also some seawater that's come from down at the same spot so Indian Ocean water, we'll just get started now. I've got everything measured out. So this is a one to one, meaning that the 156 grams, 157 grams of lye, 157 grams of water. So a one to one of water to lye. We'll just let that sit for a minute and it should go clear and then I'll strain it into my coconut oil so here's my coconut oil back in a moment okay so here we go it's still very hot so using the heat transfer method I'm melting the coconut oil using the heat of the lye water and we'll come back in a minute once that's done now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually blend up this liquid or puree I should say straight into the olive oil rather than putting it in a trace where it might risk some of it not actually incorporating properly give it a short burst with the stick blender and we'll know it's fully incorporated Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Um, because the day is a bit cooler, it's taking longer to actually melt the coconut oil. But that's just about done now. Okay. Tallow, which is warmed. Sunflower oil, which has my scent in it. Okay. Olive oil with the puree in it. Mm. 
and that's what happens when the lye hits it. So it's actually just gone a dark browny greeny colour. <laughs> Still changing. Now there's one more ingredient left, which is the seawater. Now this will make it thicken up real quick. It's only a very thin trace at this point. I'd personally leave it a bit longer and a better trace before pouring it into the mould. So it's actually getting quite warm now. That'll be the sugars in the fig and the apple cider vinegar. And you can see, I don't know whether you can see or not, trace, you can see on the top the circle there. Now considering how hot this one has become, I'm going to pop it into the freezer for about an hour, let it cool down and then bring it back out onto the counter with a towel across the top. Give it a chance to cool down so that it ends up with a, let me just bang a few of these. Okay, let's have a bit of a, yep, so it's already setting up. Here we go. Morton Bay fig blended with apple cider vinegar, pushed through a strainer to pure, get the puree out without the seeds. Sea water from the same spot, and then my normal recipe. Hope you enjoyed it.